Alrighty guys, welcome back to Trevor the Great Day. Here we are in um, LA, California. Well actually, no way, we're a bit north of LA. We're in Burbank and um, today we're getting an update on our order for our new Corvette C8R, which I'm super excited about. It's gonna be a 2022 model year. And as many of you know, we did a few videos back um, asking all of you, should we go after it? Because well, we're buying the Z06, right? And that car comes out in like a year or so, it's a 2023. Um, this car's a 2022, so it should hold us so over in the meantime um, pretty well. And it is based on the actual race car. Again, it's just be so much fun to take that car on the racetrack. But anyway, so I think we're next to the dealership somewhere. I have not actually been here in per person yet, but I want to get a status update on our car. Also, I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but on um, the C8R almost um, won Le Mans. It was in second place. It got beat by the Ferrari, but um, that is super, super cool to see. And also they had actual C8 Z06 prototype mules, you know, out there um, before the race and also at the Nürburgring over there in Germany. So it is really, really cool to see. I think Corvette, they're doing such amazing things right now. And this car still blows me away to this day. I have over 20,000 miles on it and it's been bulletproof. So next stop, the Chevrolet dealership. This is it, we have made it to the dealership, Community, Community Chevrolet. Got the car completely parked in the corner right here, away from any door dings that could possibly happen. Anyways, let's uh, walk inside. As you can see, they have two C8 Corvettes on display right here, then a C7 way down there. And as you can see right here, we have a black C8 Corvette 2LT, and it's got the upgraded black Trident spoke wheels. And um, honestly, the black looks pretty dang mean and killer on these vehicles. And then behind it, you have a torch red C8 Corvette as well, both Z51 2LT equipped vehicles. Now they are 2021s, so um, the latest model year, but I'm excited to see if there's any differences that Chevrolet has not announced yet for the 2022 versus 2021 than 2020. Alrighty, just got out of the dealership next to a C7 um, Stingray, but got my um, paperwork right here. Essentially, we are in 3100 status, available to sequence, which is pretty far along. So the next step is to get like a TPW for when the car will, will be built. I'm guessing maybe sometime in September or October. I'm not sure. I'll keep you guys up to date on that. But in the meantime, gonna enjoy the CA um, Stingray right here that we have, the torch red one. I'm gonna miss this color. I mean, there's nothing like this color out there. I'm just, I'm such a major fan of this car. I love it so much. And it's been, you know, just bulletproof. It's been a car that's always um, stood up to anything we've put up to, that being all of our adventures and it's been amazing. This was one of the first C8 Corvettes to really come out and I mean the videos that we made with it really showed a lot of you guys what it can do you know and um, that's why I'm so excited for the C8R then also even like um, the Z06 coming out. I'm such a major um, Corvette fan right? Working with Burbank Chevrolet right here it should be a lot of fun these guys seem very nice here and that's what you're looking for right you want to find um, um, a nice and reputable dealership to work with when it comes to buying new cars and um, so far it's just, it seems, seems good and I'm excited to follow through the process. But you know what, let me hop inside and go over all the order options that we got on this vehicle because um, and we got a lot of comments going, well, should we get a gray or yellow? And I've been asking many of you, but um, I've finalized it all and it is all like locked in right now. Opening up the door. So all the way in the bottom, we are going to be getting a 3LT spec vehicle. I've never had a 3LT um, CA Corvette. This is a 2LT right here with all the red accents everywhere, but it's got the non-suede finish on the roof and elsewhere, but it's got the suede steering wheel, the red accents all over the interior. I love the red interior with the Corvette, and I'm gonna especially miss this. This is like the combo, especially with the comp seats, is amazing. And I was debating between gray and yellow, but um, like the C8R, they got second place in Le Mans just recently. That was a yellow C8R. Um, and I just think on the racetrack, it's gonna pop even more. I know a lot of guys are telling me, go for the gray one, it looks really good. But uh, I agree completely, and I think you can't go wrong. But in general, for what we do here on the channel, um, having a brighter car on the track really does resonate. <laughs> it's so fun. And um, I think yellow should look really cool next to our orange McLaren. The interior, we're going for the trim suede. But here's the interesting thing. You see right there where it says strike yellow, sky cool gray seats. So for the interior of all C8Rs, it's essentially the same. It's a mix of sky cool gray 
with yellow stitching and then um, well black suede etc so it's something that's very interesting and I'm looking forward to seeing how it resonates I really wanted the full suede right here on the middle console but um, unfortunately you can't get it with this um, car so it's going after a trim that is only available in a 3LT form um, C8 so this trim the sky cool gray with the strike yellow is only available on 2021 and up C8 Corvette so this is going to be an interesting um, build because it's just so new to me so coming down as you can see we got yellow seatbelts with our car corvette we have a high wing spoiler which is a uh, dealer install option but it's finished in um carbon flash this time so versus our red torch red painted rear wing this is going to be um accented in the opposite color so so black all throughout the body also we've got the gt2 competition sport bucket seats as you can see right here the 3lt spec interior with the upgraded um sky cool gray and strike yellow with the yellow stitching um z51 performance package of course also we have our carbon engine appearance package and we have the HT rear view mirror etc which comes with the 3LT versions of the car we are getting the black trident spoke wheels which is going to be very interesting because that's different than what I have right now I have the standard ones and I'm all black look really good with it also we're getting black lug nuts with the car and then also the performance exhaust and then for the wheel caps in the center they're actually going to be um, the Jake logo which is interesting um, nonetheless we're also going to be getting the interior plaque which um, shows the CAR championship edition so that's gonna go that's gonna go right here so right here it's gonna say car and then it's gonna say number let's say 40 out of 1000 or something like that so these cars are numbered to just 1000 vehicles this is the first ever numbered version of a ca corvette a mid-engine corvette the black rockers on the side so just like the cars from the ron fellows um racing school yellow brake calipers with um yellow accents on the steering wheel also we're getting the magnetic ride control which you have to get if you intend on actually using the car for what it's meant for on, on the racetrack i think carbon flash painted um outside mirrors and then the actual c8r racing stripes all over the vehicle plus the splash guards and then also a car indoor um rendered car cover which shows the real car underneath I, I love that that's gonna be so awesome so in general i think the car should be built um relatively soon i mean it's gonna be so exciting because we're gonna be buying our second ca corvette which is i'm just super pumped about it um and then starting from fresh again having a different color vehicle a different well spec car it's gonna be a lot of fun i think i want to make sure to keep all of you up to date on what it's like buying the first ever limited edition um, C8 Corvette. It's gonna be something brand new and I'm excited to bring you guys along on the journey to give the best C8 Corvette content possible. What the heck? Check that out right there is Nickelodeon Studios across the street from the dealership. Alrighty, here we are guys, flash forward, and uh, now we're climbing up Angeles Crest. This mountain is so much fun. Unfortunately, I live so far away, I can't come out here very often to enjoy it. But um, in general, taking this car here and stiffening up the suspension, the magnetic ride, and also putting on um, the track powertrain settings, I mean, this thing comes alive. I really do love the feeling of this car. <laughs> this car is so hooked up. I mean, accelerating nonstop, the way it feels. There's just so much torque with it. I mean, most mid-engine cars don't feel like this. They're twin turbocharged, they're flat plane crank. And when you get inside this car, you've got an American pushrod V8. So um, on track, that really does come alive. This is why I love this car so much. I mean, it is so dialed in, in the corners. And the entire car itself feels so balanced. The DCT reacts so quickly, and then full throttling the car. There's so much grip behind you being mid-engine that it just hooks up and goes right out of a corner. I love this car. I cannot wait to, to track the C8R 2022 Corvette. Freshening it up, right, with a yellow Corvette instead of red. Let me know, guys, what do you think of the color that we chose? You know what, though? Let me pull off on this really cool um, lookout point because I want to go over, basically, in summary, what all is going on. Well, this is it. We have made it to Angela's Crest. As you can see all around us, the view looks so unreal. I mean, it's just canyons, mountains, everything amazing curvy roads as far as the eye can see and um, the CA Corvette is looking 
so good right in front of us. I can't believe we're at 3100 status. So if you don't know, 3100 is essentially right before our car gets um, broadcasted in production and they start building it. So um, they have accepted our allocation. So, so yes, we are getting a C8 R Corvette. I think most importantly, I'm gonna miss see the torch red on our C8 Corvette right behind me because um, it's just, it looks so good. I mean, it's like the American Ferrari. That's initially why I placed my order down with torch red because this is the first ever made in Corvette. Having torch red on it brings out all the hard harsh angles, the lines, the body formations towards the rear haunches in the side intakes. I mean, it looks so mean in red. And also, since you can go for a red two-toned interior with suede and also competition seats, I mean, the car just came together perfectly. And not many vehicles out there have I seen actual body co colored painted high wing spoilers. Now, a new options coming up for 2022 where you can get this in exposed carbon, but it's like $6,000. So I'll say Save my money um, for the Z06. So that car is going to be so much fun as well. But the C8R is going to be the perfect car to hold us over in the meantime because it is based on the actual C8R race car. It's a heritage model, basically. It's a livery to commemorate um, the race car, which I'm just such a major fan of. BMW flying through the corners. That is so funny. I'm a track guy, you know. That's exactly why you see the McLaren hat on my head. I bought the McLaren because um, McLaren does so much to building the most track-focused vehicles on the planet. Planet. And same goes for Chevrolet with the Corvette, which is why I'm a major Corvette fan, you know? And I know my focus is not the same as most people out there, but um, the C8R, you know, is made to commemorate the C8R race car, which I have seen before in person over at SEMA like a year and a half, two years ago, and it looked incredible. They're thinking about a street model, which bears the same name, even though it doesn't have the same engine or the same performance. It's uh, pretty cool in the sense of it's just an all new variant of the C8 Corvette, the new platform, and um, it's it's gonna be pretty special and I'm very excited to bring all of you guys along when it comes to the process of getting this new car and sharing with you the best from Chevrolet. Plus a major reason why I want to get this new car is that I want to go much further than I ever have when it comes to tracking the C8 Corvette because um, we've taken this car everywhere, right? Laguna Seca, like Willow Springs, Chuckwalla, um, Spring Mountain, right? Everywhere and um, it's been stuck the entire time. Well, I'm thinking there's a lot of things that we have learned from getting our McLaren track prepped that can make this car even faster, but relatively leaving it the same as stock. And I do want to go down that route to just see what kind of lap times we can pull with a properly specced out C8R. With that being said, then we'll transition into getting the C8 Z06. But I mean, check this out running this way, full speed, hopefully the camera is pretty stable. I'm running and then slowing down, whoa. Right down there, you can see all the corners of Angeles Crest Highway. <laughs> and we've conquered um, a good majority of them, climbing up. Next thing you know, um, we still have tons more road to go explore. So let's hop inside the CA Corvette and have some fun. But, but real quickly though, I wanna show you in person some of the major differences we're gonna find between our CA and the new one coming out. So running full speed again, running at the Corvette, full throttle. <laughs> So essentially, we're going to be getting the same exact C8R racing graphics that you have in the race car. So the stripes going down the middle over the hood, then the major Corvette logo on the actual roof, C8R badging on the side, accelerate yellow all throughout, and a special brand new interior made for 3LT Corvettes. All new wheels as well. I will be giving the engine appearance package, but our rear wing will no longer be matching with the body color of the car. It's going to be a finish in on black. Here's where it gets interesting because because I see a lot of comments online going like, oh, it's just a sticker package, just don't waste your time on that, or I can buy a, a yellow 1LT and then put on the, the stripes after the fact with my local um, decal or wrap shop. Here's the main difference. This car, in particular, has a lot going for it in the sense of distinguishing it versus a normal Stingray because that plaque that you get inside the vehicle telling you your number, that means a lot and that really does transform how the car is looked upon. I've had a, I've had a lot of Shelby Mustangs and um, the Super Snake vehicles from Shelby American, um, they were numbered, right? And I had number nine GT500 Super Snake, a signature edition. And that really did make the car special. That makes the 
the car much more valuable. So in the sense of trying to find an allocation, I think you guys should have, if you're interested, try to go after one because it's not just a yellow CA Corvette with stickers. Um, you're getting your money's worth when it comes to the $6,000 because you're getting the high wing spoiler. Also yellow painted brakes, the upgraded wheels, um, the black colored uh, mirrors, also the rockers. The list just keeps going on and on. So you're getting your money's worth when it comes to all the options, but then you're getting a vehicle that shares the same plaque as an actual race car and will stand out on its own in time. There's a C7R, right? Most importantly, I wanna get it because I wanna freshen things up and then actually track a C8R badged uh, Corvette on the racetrack. So who knows, we could be the only privately owned um, street legal C8R that is hitting up the racetrack everywhere and putting down some crazy numbers, crazy times. And even, who knows, we may get a world record at the quarter mile with the C8R. That'd be a ton of fun. Anyways, though, you guys can see my point. It just can be fun. I want to show that people will actually buy these cars and use them for what they're meant for. They're not just going to sit in a collection somewhere in the garage. So that being said, uh, stay tuned guys because I think the content will be so much fun. We're going to be trying out and sharing the ownership experiences for every single Corvette model basically out there. <laughs> It's so funny because they dial in that pop on every single upshift. You hear that? That that pop when you upshift is so much fun. Anyways, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Again, please let me know if you have a 2022 C8 Corvette on order and also a C8R. And plus, please let me know in the comment section what do you think of our spec? I'm so excited to get it. I've, I've always wanted a yellow car in the sense that just um, it's so different and it pops. Uh, we'll see how I react to it once we get it. But uh, I, I'm excited about it. I'm very excited about it. And I'm very excited to work my way up through each and every model of this new platform because I'm a hardcore enthusiast. I love mid-engine vehicles and having our McLaren, that is like our hardcore exotic, right? We're gonna be working our way up to the hardcore American mid-engine up supercars. So it's gonna be a ton of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching this video again. Make sure to hit that like button to help me out. Also subscribe for much of your great content coming out your way. I'll see all of you in the next episode.